Come closer. Something's wrong. Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. And today I'm doing the Portal 2 comparison video. We're going to be running Portal 2 Linux Beta on Ubuntu 13.10 and compare it to the performance we get with the Windows Portal 2 on Windows 8. So as you can see here, the settings for both systems, I have enabled everything to high with the exclusion that on Windows you can bring it up to 16 times AA but on Ubuntu they only allow us to go 8 times so both systems will be running at 8 times MSAA. So this is running on the latest drivers I can get my hands on which are the 334 NVIDIA series. Now rumors are that Portal 2 under the hood is apparently all OpenGL compared to previous ports from Valve which had uh, a translation layer. So this will make for an interesting test to see how OpenGL, the source engine OpenGL versus the DirectX engine of source will handle out. So we're starting off with 299 frames per second on the Ubuntu side with the Windows side idling 280 plus frames per second. Alright, the Linux side has dropped down to 250 just now, back up to 299. It looks like there is an object in the scene that brings the frames per second below 299 in Ubuntu's side. Windows has stayed consistently at 280 frames per second. Now we are still seeing it go up to 299 on Linux side and drop down to as far as 250. Now anything in excess of 120 frames per second is overkill. So anyone wondering if you can play this game well on either system, you can play it superbly on either system. We're still looking at a good solid 299 frames per second on Linux side with 280 on Windows side. However, this is just the beginning of the comparison. Once we actually get into the later part of this level, there will be a lot of debris and objects on the scene. We'll see how the Linux beta performs then. This is still a Linux beta, so don't be surprised if the performance changes for better or worse when it gets officially released. Okay, so on the Linux side, we saw it drop now. It's down to 170 frames per second, where Windows is 220 just now. There is a significant drop in frames per second on the Linux side. 250, 200, it, it seems to be jumping a lot. Okay, it looks like Windows has dropped below 200 there. It's hard to keep track as they are both happening very fast. Neither have dropped below 120 evacuation. yet, which stay is calm, good. Stay, stay calm, Linux does seem to be struggling a bit. 220 frames per second versus about 260 to 70 on Windows. Okay, we're looking for a second just now. We're looking at 60 frames per second difference between the two systems. Linux idling 199 to 200 versus Windows 250 to 60 just now. All right, let's get up close to Wheatley and see how it stacks on either system. Close, okay. On the Linux side, we're looking at 215 to 60 frames per second versus 250 to 60 on Windows, which is about a 50 frames per second difference. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that. Looks like it's consistent. That is the proper reaction. So looking at Wheatley's model, it is less strenuous under Windows, or maybe it is the NVIDIA driver. I'm unsure, but we are looking at about a 50 frames per second difference there. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Still, both systems are above 120 frames per second, which is lovely. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold. All right, Linux dropped down to 190. Windows dropped down to 240 for a second to 30. We are seeing Ubuntu drop down below 200 a lot often. Okay, both systems have dropped to exactly the same here. 150, 160, 120, 130. Okay, 20 frames per second difference there, 10 frames per second. It's not long enough for me to be able to call it out every time. Okay, we're seeing 20 frames per second difference for a short second there. 10 frames per second difference. So, Windows is leading in this section by about 10 to 20 frames per second. So if you were running a 120 hertz monitor, you would be seeing some FPS drop on the Linux side. We are seeing it now idling at 130, 150 on Windows, that's about the 20 frames per second difference there. So when things get rough, 
Both systems drop to relatively low frames per second, still way above the 60 frames per second uh, average for most monitors, but if you're running a newer monitor with 120Hz, you would be suffering slightly, ever so slightly on Ubuntu. Looking at 10, 10 frames per second difference there, 20 frames per second difference, they're both going back up. With a lot of debris on the screen, I am impressed to say that the Linux beta is running okay. I was expecting it to drop below 100. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. So initially, Ubuntu was in the lead. Then there was a time with Le Wheatley where there was a 60 frames per second to 50 frames per second difference. Now we have dropped down to both systems only having about a 20 frames per second difference between them. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. 120 uh, versus 140, 145, about 20 frames per second difference here. Ubuntu uh, Windows is in the lead. If only by a Almost bit there. compared to previously. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. 140 versus 160. Holes. Still, we're looking at about 20 frames per second difference, which I'm very curious. Why is it consistently about 20 frames per second? Okay, on the Linux side, it dropped below 100. For that brief moment where the smoke came into the scene, it dropped to the 90 frames per second. So it looks like the Linux player still has some optimization that needs to be done for us to get close to the Windows performance. However, it is handling itself very well considering it's still in beta and it's probably their first Linux port that is fully OpenGL if the rumors I've heard are to be trusted. Okay, we almost saw about 80 frames per second difference just now. 280 on Thanks Windows the while there was 200 on Ubuntu. So that is it for the uh, comparison of Portal 2 on Windows versus Ubuntu. You are going to get better frames per second on Windows, but it does vary. At the beginning, we were seeing greater frames on Ubuntu, but then we saw it drop. And there was a 60 frames per second difference, after which we saw there be a consistent 20 frames per second difference between the two systems when things got hectic. When things really dropped down for the Ubuntu side, it was due to the smoke. Let's hope that more optimizations are coming up ahead, but nonetheless it is impressive to say the least that the performance we're getting for Portal 2 on Linux is wonderful so far. Let's hope that future NVIDIA drivers may also help solve the problem wherever the problem may lie. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and thank you for watching.